بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم كلية تمام كالم اقسام الدوانية قسم اللغة الانجليزية مادة نحو المرحلة الرابعة تدريس محمد حسين بدر today we are going to talk about tag questions okay and also declarative questions tag questions this is section 7.48 the tag question consists of operator plus a pronoun we are familiar with tag questions it is not something which is new for us okay just some additional information about tag question about the tone and the nuclear that is put on some parts of a sentence okay so tag question consists of operator plus a pronoun with or without a negative particle okay this is tag question has it didn't she with with not or without the first one has it without negative particle and the second with you see operator plus pronoun operator pronoun it didn't operator she pronoun the choice and tense of the operator choice of tense has didn't are determined by the verb phrase where the superordinate goes here so this one and this one both of them depend on the verb here in the sentence clear the poet hasn't left has it Juan recognize you didn't she you see as these examples are straight if the superordinate clause is positive if the third sentence positive the second negative negative positive and vice versa you see here the nuclear tone of the tag tag occurs on the operator and is either a rise or fall so here we have four types rise tone or rising tone falling tone you see rising tone falling tone rising tone positive negative he likes his job doesn't he you see he likes his job doesn't he negative positive he doesn't like his job does he you see here falling tone falling you see the tone here fall we'll make it closer you see here this is what fall fall tone here he likes his job doesn't he he doesn't like his job does he you see falling like but here what does he he doesn't like his job does he but here he doesn't like his job does he does he you see in this way what is the meaning the meaning of these sentences like their forms like their forms involve a statement and a question each of them that is asserts something then invite the listener's response to it okay we say it in arabic نقول احنا move ليس كذلك for example can be rendered i assume he likes his job number one for example he likes his job i assume am i right am i right ليس كذلك move means but second means the opposite he doesn't like his job you see he doesn't like his job i assume he doesn't like his job am i right you see here clearly these sentences have a positive and negative orientation respectively a similar contrast exists between third and fourth but it is important again to separate two factors in exception expressed by the statement and an expectation expect expressed by the question so here we have four put it in summary here the first one positive assumption a neutral expectation negative assumption a neutral expectation positive assumption positive expectation negative assumption negative expectation you see here so the tag with the following tone then in the last two sentences with the following tone invites what confirms confirm of of the statement you see confirm and has the force of an exclamation rather than a genuine qu question you see 
so they have the force of exclamation and this it is like though perhaps not so emphatic as exclamation or exclamatory yes no questions with the following tone section 7.56 we will talk about this you see here they are similar to exclamatory yes no question isn't it gorgeous weather okay isn't it gorgeous weather so they what it is confirmation it has the force of exclamation with falling tone the tone which is what falling okay i hope they are clear we have other types of type questions what in which we have what we have we don't have negative positive both of them statement and question what positive statement and question are what both of them are positive for example your car is outside is it you've ha you've had an accident have you so why what, what does it mean when we when we ask such kind of question this tag has a rising nuclear and the situation is characteristically preceded by or sometimes you can use or or so indicating the speaker's arrival at the conclusion by inference this is the meaning okay so we infer infer in arabic it means instant so we infer by inference you you've had an accident have you for example you go to your friend's house and you find the car with some with something wrong with it for example it's crashed okay or something wrong with it you 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 are making act or the, the man made an accident so you go to him and say what you have had an accident have you in fairness what you have in fairness you the speaker's arrival at the conclusion by in fairness or by recalling what has already been said or people say okay people say that he has made an accident so you are recalling what has already been said this tone may sometimes be one of sarcastic suspicious. Sometimes it is called it is called sarcastic suspicious. So that's your little game, is it? Okay, this is for sarcastic. The last one, but this one, what? For example, your car is outside, is it? You see, it, it's his car is outside, but just here, what? You infer. For example, his car is not in 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 the garden or in the yard. In the yard so you say your car is outside is it this is kind of a question in which we have what we have both statement and the question positive what is the meaning the meaning is what is uh, inference here you infer okay you have what arrived at the conclusion by inference by inferring by deducing according to the situation or we can say it if you have studied linguistics the presupposition declarative questions second type or third time is declarative questions declarative questions is an exceptional time of yes no questions identical in form to statement like a statement means subject verb complement but only exception what for final rising question intonation only the last the last word was what with rising intonation that's why it is a question so you have got the explosive this is statement if we put rising intonation here finally or at the final word in final word it will be question yes no question you have got the explosive you have got the explosive for example you say you are ahmed you are Fatima, you are Ali, you are Nurgis. This is what statement. If you what here put rising intonation, so you say you are Ahmed, you are Fatima, you are Nurgis, you are Ali. So here the answer is what? Yes, I am, or no, I'm not. You see here? They have spoken to the ambassador. You realize what the risk is. Ah, uh, Boris will be there, I suppose. He didn't finish the race. You see here? He 
here we have declaratory questions show their assertive character characters or character and the inadmissibility of non-assertive forms it means here non what it means they don't allow not there is no permission of non-assertive form they don't permit or allow assertive forms okay similar we when we start a sentence we don't st start a sentence by non-assertive form remember this in a quiz here it is the same we don't use non-assertive you see here for example this sentence is ungrammatical the guest is have had anything so anything is what non-assertive form so the sentence is what wrong so how to correct it nothing or something you can use assertive form or negative particle i hope it is clear yes no question with modal auxiliary sorry the formation of yes no question with modal auxiliaries is subject to certain limitation. We have certain limitation and shifts of meaning. Okay, so we have some limitations and shifts of meaning. For example, we'll come to some of them one by one. The models of permission may okay and can and obligation must have to involve what the speaker's authority in a statement and the listener's authority in a question you see yeah for example when i say may i leave now may i leave now it means what will you permit me hi the speaker ask the listener will you permit me so the listener authority will you permit me say yes you can for example yes you may yes you can I will permit you. You see, must I leave now? And are you telling me to leave now? You see, speakers authority in a statement, but the listeners authority were in a question. Yes, you must, or yes, you have to. I'm telling you, you must, or you have to go. For example, or to leave. A similar switch from listener to speaker. The similar, the same thing from listener to speaker takes place with shall, relation, which especially in the British English implies the speaker's will in a statement. Here, what the speaker's will in a statement, but the listener's will in a question. The speaker's will were in statement, but the listener's will in questions. You shall suffer for this. You shall suffer for this okay so i intend to make you suffer i intend to make you suffer the speaker you see the speaker will wear in the statement this is a statement you shall suffer for example i tell some people this you shall you shall suffer for this so it is what it is the speakers the speakers intention the speakers statement speakers will any statements but listeners will wear any question any question for example the listener say, shall I switch off the television it means do you want me you see any question well any question do you want me shall I close the door it means do you want me to close the door okay here the same thing the di uh, direct question use of shall is restricted virtually restricted to first person okay here we can use with we we shall we carry your suitcase shall we have dinner do you like us including you to have dinner would you like us the same thing here okay in which we have the listeners one in question may possibility may not permission is not employed at all in the question can or more commonly could taste the place you see in possibility can they have missed the bus could they have missed the bus? Yes, they may. Or yes, they might have. Need is an unassertive auxiliary in clauses where the corresponding positive form is must. Need it happen? Does it need or does it have to happen? Yes, it must. Yes, it has. 
you see if on the other hand must has had occurred in A's question it would had positive orientation is it the fact that this is the meaning of must is it the fact that it must happen you see compare with need it ever happen with must it always happen where the assertive form must be retrained is not important WH questions let me take this or not oh that's enough for I will not give you too much okay to give you time to read and focus and read additional sources if you like if you have any question you can ask thank you so much